What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for AKW News. This week we're talking about some stuff that's come from Alina's Twitter as well as on the design notes. There's not too much news this week so I'll try and get through it quickly. Um, basically, Alina has announced that the mod and uh, bug hunter and tester applications are once again open for AKW. I won't go into this too much because I'll just be rehashing what she said on the design notes, so if you are interested in applying to be a moderator, a bug hunter, or a tester, then make sure you go to the description, click the design notes link, and you'll be able to read about how to apply to be a moderator, a tester, or a bug hunter for AKW. Um, again, make sure you read that post fully before you apply, just so you're making sure you meet all the requirements and stuff before you waste your time applying. Um, next up, we've got some news regarding some class balancing, rather than some quest balancing, not class balancing. Um, Asuka, who I believe is a quest balancer for AKW, um, they tweeted that there are some changes for the terraforming and void highlord uh, challenge quests. Now, I don't know if these are the only changes, as far as I know they are, but there has been rumors surrounding these quests being either made harder or easier, um, but I haven't, I haven't been able to find any uh, hard facts for all those claims, so it's just rumors at this stage, but if you do have heard anything else outside of what I'm about to mention, then by all means leave that in the comment section down below. But either way, the confirmed news is that um, in the Void High Lord Challenge, the Golden Werewolf King statue will be replaced with something that'll cost the same amount of gold, but just not a house item, and same thing with the Tower of Necromancy in Terraforming, that will be replaced with something that's not a house. So basically, there's a... Uh, yeah, it's just a small little change to those two quests just to make them a little bit easier, a little bit more of a quality of life thing more than anything. So uh, yeah, that, that's just an interesting little change, I guess. Um, again, rumors have been surrounding that sort of uh, those two quests being made either harder or easier in some way. I don't know if that was what the rumors was, were regarding and if that, that is all that there is to that. I've looked into that extensively and I've not found anything, but if you guys have found anything, again, leave a comment and I'll pin any relevant information to my comment section. Finally this week we'll talk about some news regarding AKW being on mobile and on uh, Steam. So AE and Alina has expressed interest in porting AKW to the mobile and Steam platforms to allow one for less lag and for them to have more control over sort of the, the way the game performs in a lot of situations. And two, obviously, you know, AKW is quite a common thing to play on your mobile. I know I've played it, play it on my phone a lot in class. I'm trying to farm like really tedious things like when I was farming Void High Lord. I used to do a lot of that on my phone. Same with level 85. So um yeah, you can you can play it on your phone using a browser like emulator, I guess, but that's not really an, a a uh, good solution because buttons are small, it lags a lot, it's really delayed, it's it's slow, it crashes, it's just not a good not a good experience at all. So they want to make it obviously a mobile game, which would get them a lot of attention, a lot of pl new players and stuff. So yeah, that's that just a cool thing they've been looking into doing. Now the first step of doing that would be to do the server rewrite. So they they're almost done on that. So uh, once that's done, they can start working on porting the game to a new engine and a new platform, um, aka Steam and uh, obviously the mobile app stores and stuff. So that'll be really cool to see. Um, now they've been teasing little features here and there. One of the cool features that they uh, sort of teased that they're looking into implementing um, the other day was uh, a auto enhancement system. So basically Alina posted a poll on Twitter. She said a one-click auto enhancement button that sets all your gear to the best and most useful level. And uh, the three replies, the three possible options to pick in this poll were yes, double yes, and really yes. So obviously they are definitely looking into implementing that, whether that's going to come to fruition or not. It's uh, only time will tell. But uh, yeah, at least at least they're looking into making enhancing your items uh, easier in AKW, which is great, great to hear. So uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the news for this week. Um, I know there wasn't much. I am really looking into uh, changing up my format of my channel for the time being. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do because the server rewrite is obviously coming very, very soon. They've been saying that for a long time. But there's a lot of class changes. A lot of classes are going to be uh, less or more useful once the server rewrite is out. So I'm really waiting on doing a lot of my class guides um, until the server rewrite is out. But until then, I'm sort of like, like I said, I'm sort of just waiting um, for the server, server rewrite to be out, so I don't have to redo a whole bunch of them. But I don't know; it's taking a while now, and it's like, well, do I just do more class guides or get some of the more insignificant ones out of the way? I'm not sure. I was really, really almost about to do my Doom Knight one the other day, but then Doom Knight's just not good. Still, it's really just not good. So like, it's kind of pointless to do a class guide or a review on it. So I'm not entirely, entirely sure guys, leave your opinions on the whole situation in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.